you shouldn't let someone else tell you you're a trophy wife. If you know it and you believe it in yourself that you're a trophy wife, then people mm -hmm. are going to start looking at you and be like, damn. I'm like, I'm like, I'm so there's this woman out there named Lana Rhodes. Real nice, beautiful woman, all right? Very respectful. Some of you may be familiar with her work. Some of you might be wondering where you've seen this face before. And the answer is when you're all alone during your little fun time, during your me time, when you're choking your chicken and possibly flicking your bean, she might have been up there on that screen. But nowadays, she's been out of the adult industry for the last couple of years. I mean, don't get it twisted, she's still out here slanging pics. She's just not getting jackhammered on camera anymore. And since she's retired from the industry, she said that it was the biggest mistake of her life and that she really regrets the whole thing. I mean, you do have to feel for someone who makes this type of decision only to later want to be a regular member of society. The crazy part about it, though, is that she wouldn't be rich nor famous if she didn't do these things in her past, so it really is a double-edged sword. Like, yeah, you are famous and rich, but this will never go away for your entire life. I guess you can say that that was the cost for her fame. And let's keep it real, it's probably extremely hard to walk around knowing anyone you pass by, or possibly me, could have seen you getting stuffed like a Thanksgiving turkey. The thing with her is it seems like her journey into doing this was crazy. Something about being in a hippie, gypsy cult that made her rob houses which led to her eventual arrest rest and that apparently they were the ones that really led her into doing adult films. Either way, she's back on this podcast with two of her friends. Whole lot of brain activity going on here. And they're talking about what a trophy wife is, and if she can still be one one day after her time in the industry. And that one of her friends was apparently dating a girl who he found out was for the streets, so he dumped her because he said she wasn't trophy wife material. My guess is he found out that one of his good friends smashed and couldn't handle it. Yeah. I mean, some men just can't get over the past and they can't stop thinking about yeah. who was there before them and it bothers certain people. But I know a lot of men that are secure in themselves and they don't care about mm -hmm. the past. They don't even ask about the past. Like, that's how you know it's a mature, strong guy when they don't ask you about your past enough. Yeah, because it's not smart to ask about someone's past sexual history when they've been getting banged on camera. It sounds like she has some skeletons in her closet too, and it really just makes me wonder what she's hiding. That's how you know it's a mature, strong guy when he doesn't care how many other guys you fucked. Obviously, some people will care, and others won't. That's just how life is. But it doesn't make a man any more mature or secure to get cucked online. Lana Rhodes says because of her past that she can't find a long-term boyfriend. A lot of people tell me, oh, you'll never be married. Why would anyone want to date you? Do you think I should be excluded from ever being considered a trophy wife because of my past? And then men are cool with her past at first, but can't bear the thought of falling asleep at night knowing their girlfriend has gotten laid out by the Lifetime Fitness basketball team. So after a few months, they call the relationship off. Let's just hope that she has a good man now as she has a baby on the way. All I have to say is that I feel bad for that kid already. I'm really just waiting for my man Pepe the Frog to pop out with her on a yacht somewhere out in the Caribbean, out there sailing on some beautiful ocean. And if you want to have smooth sailing in your next physical encounter, you need to check out the sponsor of today's video, my friends over at Teej Hanley. Like many men out there, before Teej Hanley, I would struggle to even wash my face every day or stick with any sort of skincare routine because I really did not know what I was doing at all. But with their level one skincare system, they make everything very simple for guys like you and I. And after a while, it'll really just be like second nature for you to take care of your face. The level one system comes with a face wash, a two times per week exfoliating scrub, as well as an AM and PM moisturizer so your face will be hydrated all day every day. It might sound crazy, but I really do look forward to starting and ending my day with Tej. My favorite part is that every box comes with an instruction card that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. In addition to amazing skin, members of Tej Hanley get a ton of benefits, including 25% off the retail price, the ability to customize your box, as well as the ability to pause or cancel at any time. And you get free shipping within the U. US. And because Teach Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click the first link in the description, and not only will you get Teach Hanley for the best possible price, but they'll also give you a free gift with your first box. So what are you waiting for? Click that link and get started for just $30.
They say that a trophy wife is something men desire, but Wikipedia defines trophy wife as a wife who is regarded as a status symbol for the husband. The term is often used in a derogatory or disparaging way, implying that the wife in question has little personal merit besides her physical attractiveness, requires substantial expense for maintaining her appearance, is often unintelligent or unsophisticated, does very little of substance beyond remaining attractive, and is in some ways synonymous with the term gold digger. A trophy wife is typically relatively young and attractive, and may be a second, third, or later wife of an older, wealthier man. So she wants to be a trophy wife so bad, and to me it just sounds so miserable to look forward to marrying someone because of their status, who's married to you because of your status, who doesn't even exist yet. I mean truly, how can that be your main goal in life to be someone's trophy wife? But just listening to this next quote will show you how shallow this woman truly is. In the past I've said, a girl cannot be the prettiest on the outside, but if a girl comes up to me and she's like, damn, I'm so hot, I'm the hottest girl in this room, I'm gonna double look at her and be like, is she the hottest girl in this room? Because yeah. she really believes it. Wow, I cannot believe this ugly bitch thinks she's so hot. I mean, truly, what a fucking joke. How sick do you have to be to walk around worrying about who is hotter than you in a room? This is like the way some chicks act in a high school movie, and it's sadly the reality for a lot of people always comparing themselves and their physical attributes and presence to others everywhere they go. All of this high value man and trophy wife woman is absolute bullshit. Those philosophies account for no sort of nuance, no sort of variation. Women and men are not just some black and white thinking and acting human beings. We have feelings, we have emotions, we have preferences. You shouldn't let someone else tell you you're a trophy wife. If you know it and you believe it in yourself that you're a trophy wife, then people mm -hmm. are gonna start looking at you and be like, damn. damn. Like, I'm oh my God, do I even have to say anything? I swear these people from Los Angeles are really just a different breed of shallow. You know, I'm sorry for anyone who lost brain cells today. I really just thought this clip was too amazing not to cover. As always, I do wanna know what you guys think down below in the comments. What would you describe as a trophy wife? And could you ever date someone who has that type of content online? Let me know what you guys think down below. As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching and subscribing and dropping a like on the video. All that stuff really helps in the algorithm. And as you guys know, there's some other P-stars out here that need to get covered. So it's been your boy, the Tan Superman, and I'm out. Peace!